Okay, Pat, I'm going to, to do a swing analysis comparing your swing to Grant Wade, who was a PGA Tour player during the 90s, and at that time was considered having one of the best golf swings in golf. I'm starting this swing report at the impact position. This is the most important position in the golf swing. Everything the golf ball does, how far it goes, how high it goes, how much it curves, everything is determined by the club's position at impact. The golf ball is on the face of the club only four or five milliseconds. The laws of physics and motion that exist during that fraction of a second is what creates the ball flight. Your body's position is what determines the club's position at impact. Everything you do prior to impact has the sole purpose of arriving at a fundamentally sound impact position. So impact is the first thing I look, look at. As I look at Grant Waite, I want to focus on a couple of things. I'm going to draw a box here uh, from the center of both ankles up to the top of his head and uh, do the same with, with your setup. One of the key things that you want to try to achieve with your golf swing, uh, particularly when the ball is on the ground and you're hitting an iron, it's critical that you hit down on a golf ball um, and that your attack angle is downward. In order to achieve that, the pros do a couple of things to make sure that the low point of their golf swing is in front of the golf ball towards the target. So they hit the ball and then the ground. One of the ways they achieve that is they make sure that their center of, of gravity, the, the center of their body mass is on their left leg is, and the center of their body mass is in front of the golf ball when they hit it. You can look at Grant and you can see that blue line passing right through his belt buckle coming off his, his left leg. So he has the majority of his weight on his left foot at impact. The average pro will have 85% of their weight on the left side at impact. As I look at uh, your impact position, you actually have your more weight uh, kind of in the center. Um, your head is a little bit towards the back foot, more towards the back foot than the front foot. Um, and uh, that is going to make you come into the ball a little too level. And uh, Grant is coming down more into the golf ball. And when you come in level like this, it's going to create uh, too many opportunities to hit behind the golf ball, hit it fat, but also sometimes even hit it thin so that you'll do both with, with a level swing and not having enough attack angle you will uh, blade the ball sometimes or hit behind the golf ball sometimes. And so you won't get the proper compression and, and solid strike of the golf ball. The other thing that Grant does is he makes sure his hands are in front of the golf ball before he hits the ball. You can see how his hands are right on top of his left foot, right on that blue line. Your hands are a little bit further back and, and uh, your hands are almost on top of the ball at impact instead of in front of the golf ball at impact. Now we're going to look at the start of the swing, the one position, and see if there's things that we could adjust in your at the beginning of the swing to help you achieve a, a fundamentally sound impact position. Uh, Grant has his feet a little closer together, and that will help him get off the back foot and onto that front foot more consistently. He also is flaring this foot out just a little bit. You can see how that toe is tilt is turned just a little bit to the toward the target. That's a pretty common thing that you'll see on, from tour players. Uh, it, it feels a little bit odd at the beginning if you were to start doing that a little bit. I don't want you to do it excessively, but start turning that just a little bit. It facilitates a better shift to the left side. The, the, the mind will resist shifting to the left if it feels like it's going to roll over the side of the ankle. It, it's a little bit more comfortable to, to shift the weight to that front foot if you can shift more to the front of the foot as opposed to the side of the foot. I do like the fact that you start your setup with a shaft lean, just like Grant does. That's very good. So your hands are in front of the golf ball at, at, when you start. So you're, that's an excellent uh, setup right there in terms of that. Grant will set himself a little bit more on his left foot than, than his right foot. You have a fairly evenly balanced and uh, starting position with your weight. Uh, you have about 50-50 in your feet. Grant has about 55% of his weight on his left side. Um, 
and uh, that he that will help him and uh, achieve a, a better impact position if he kind of rehearses that feeling in his mind at the setup. So he's preparing himself for an impact position. So one of the things that you could consider is moving this this hip that way just a little bit, um, and uh, that would help you kind of get a, a preview of the feeling of being on your left side. Here we are in the three position. This is when the left arm is parallel to the ground. And you can see how Grant has maintained his solid position on top of his left foot. He has not swayed to the right. Um, and he's turned to the right a great deal. In fact, he has a really strong shoulder turn at this position. His shoulders are, are turned quite a bit. Uh, your shoulders aren't turned quite as much as his and um, Grant is focusing on turning and rotating and coiling his body and not so much thinking about shifting his weight to the to the right but turning strongly to the right so he's gonna have a much better coil and turn more rotary power in his golf swing another important uh, fundamental in the backswing is that you want to uh, hinge the wrist uh, start that shaft hinging upward. Uh, Grant has almost a right angle now with the shaft of the club and his left arm. He has hinged his wrist and creating a power angle. He's loading his hands, I call it. Um, you have very little wrist hinge um, at this point in the swing. And uh, a lot of that is to do with the, your grip. Uh, how you hold the club makes it difficult for you to have a, the correct wrist hinge. You lose a lot of power because of this. A lot of the the, the uh, lack of club head speed that you have at impact has to do with how you load your hands in the backswing. So one of the things that you would need to learn is how to uh, adjust your grip so that you can correctly load your hands to get more power with less effort. Here we are at the four position. This is the top of the back swing. Uh, one of the things that Grant does really well is the he still has kept that right angle in his left arm and shaft. So you can see that angle right there. Uh, and he's kept his left arm straight. So he is uh, the, the rotation, the solid core of his swing is all off this left shoulder. His golf swing is is rotating around this left shoulder so he has this long lever of the left arm to help him create club head speed and you because of this uh, because of the bend in your arm right here uh, your your rotation is more around the elbow which is, becomes a very short lever and so uh, you lose a lot of club head speed because of the of the excessive bend of this left arm. Now the reason you're bending it this much is because you did not properly load your wrist uh, and hinge your wrist in the backswing. Even though you have a lot more uh, shaft, you take your club head back a lot further than Grant, you will have a lot less club head speed than Grant. And so if you could actually shorten your backswing by keeping your left arm straight and hinging your wrist properly, you will actually pick up club head speed. With, so you'll have more power with a lot less effort. Ninth position, this is when the right arm is parallel to the ground after you. I'd like a lot of the things you're doing. You do have a, a, a good extension right here, just like Grant has. I like that a lot. Um, one, you, you are turning uh, towards the target. You've got both arms somewhat straight here through impact. You're facing the target with your chest and your hips. I like that a lot. I've got a good solid foundation of fundamentals to work on and build on, uh, but there are a few things that uh, your next few pieces that you need to work on is going to be your grip and hinging your wrist and learning how to take a backswing without rocking to the right. Those would be the, the few things that I would focus on the most because once you establish those, uh, you're going to see a, a dramatic difference in your ball striking.